Hello, this is David from goldstartool.com and um, I had a chance today to um, put into a taste a DDL8700H, you see that's an H, okay? And a Newtech GC8700, the regular one. So H stands for heavy. First, we're gonna go ahead and explain why H is H, what is the difference? Inside here, inside the machine, between 8700 and H, there is no difference whatsoever. I'm gonna tell you the things are that are different on H, because every, a lot of people have 8700 H and wanna do, make it to a regular, and a lot of people have a regular one and wanna make it to a heavy duty one. It's not a big deal at all. I'm gonna tell you the things that are different, and we're gonna take it one by one, okay? so. Plate and feed dogs. Plate and feed dogs are the main thing, okay? On a regular sewing machine. On um, regular sewing machine comes with 147150, and if you're at home and you're sitting down and you wanna make notes, 147150 is a plate number. Now, when you search this stuff, it might come as a single plate number. It doesn't matter. You don't need to buy an original Juki part. For your machine. There are cross reference with Singer, Brother, Console, Econoso, Newtech, they're all using the same parts. Don't go to some of these very expensive sites and buy uh, original item numbers for $89 and 56 cents for a plate. The plate shouldn't cost more than four bucks a plate. For, for a regular, and I have them on my website, goldstartool.com, Go to the plate and feed dog section. We have a drop down. It tells you which feed dog goes with, with which plate. So you could change them all the time. That's not a big deal. So in our case, if you, one the regular one would be 147150 and the feed dog would be 149057. All right? Now, when it comes to plate for H heavy duty, I'm gonna put my glasses on. 20160, 20160 is the plate, and the feed dog is 149159. 149159, see? They go together, and the hole is bigger. That's what you have right here. This is an H loop. Now, this seems a little bit different, only doesn't have the front part with this one, but the same exact, exact same thing, they would the same thing, they would the same job. Now, if you want this to be more and more heavy duty, very heavy duty, the heaviest of all, I had this, I've done this before, you're gonna change it to 143169 on the plate. 143169 on the plate, and the feed dog, and 149165. Plate, I mean feed dog, 149165, and voila this to go together, all right? Now, tension. Tension, complete tension is the same. The same on both machines, regular and edge. The only difference is heavy duty tension spring. See, this is light. Are you videoing me or you watching? I am. Okay, you are, good. See, this is the regular one and this is heavy one. All you have to do buy a heavy tension. Okay, and just change it. Just open this up. You don't need to hold this tension. Hold this, take this out, wow. You take this out, you see that it's take this out. Take this out. Put the heavy one in there, voila. Heavy one in there. And you're good to go. It was the other way. And when you do it, you have to hear, you have to hear that sound of rich. You see? That's it, done. Just made this heavy. I search fit uh, tension take up spring. Uh, I've seen lighter take up springs, but the one that comes with it pretty good, the one that we sell, doesn't need to be changed. That's all it does, take the thread here. The takeover spring doesn't need to be changed, nothing. 
the foot, regular foot on a machine is 24983. On a regular 8700, 24983 is a regular foot. On a, the one that comes with it, original one from Juki, if you want it, this big fat ones, okay? Part number is uh, D1524555SE, I mean EAL. 1524555EAL has the spring finger guard in the front. It's big, bigger than the normal one. I mean, I'm not saying you cannot use the normal ones. We still, whenever we sell our DDL 8700H, we sell many, many, all the type of feet that we sell from 8700. This is the only one that comes with the machine that I'm trying to tell you. This is the only one that comes with 8700H. The rest, you could use anything. Okay, so that's right there. So we did the plate, we did the foot, we did the tension. Now, we're gonna do the spring. This is the foot spring. This is where, when you're gonna go open up on the side, very easily you take this out, and then on the side you open this one up, and you put the spring. This is the heavy duty spring. I don't know why anybody would want to change that. I, it's heavy, there is two, Juki has two types. There is a, um, and I wrote it down because I couldn't remember it. The, the one for a heavy duty one is B, like baby, 150-555-000A. That's the spring for a heavy duty one, okay? B-150-555-2, A like Apple, triple zero. That's a, that's a heavy duty one, and that's what I have in my hand. That's the foot bar, pressure bar, okay? Now, on the regular one, it's 229-07406. 229, let's write it down, 229-07406. I don't know why you want to change that, really. I don't know why it's, this is more heavy duty. Okay, I get it, um, but you don't need to. Um, the bushing, this is where the, the bar sits inside, inside the bushing, and this is the other end. So from one end, it's gonna be here, one end, the other one is gonna be here, so the bushing also has two different type of bushing. The heavy duty one is B, like baby, 140355330. One more time for the heavy duty one. B, 140355330. And for the normal one, it's 229.06200. 229.06200, I don't need you need to change also. I really don't think you need to change these two. Uh, when it comes to the needle bar and the, these are the needle bars. The needle bars, if you want, you, have, you could change them. And I tell you why. Because you could use 16X90, X, 16X257, that's 16X, like X-ray 257 on both machines. And we have it on our website. That's the needle style, 16X257. That's the needle style. That's this one, you see? That's Gross Baker. You see, one of these systems. These are all the systems. European system, Asian system, US system, 16X257 is the regular needle. You could use it on both machines, 8700 or 8700H. The only difference with the other one, 16X95, is the upper part. This one is thicker than this one. And longer, you see? All the way. You don't even feel anything. You see like one big piece, right? Mm -hmm. With this one, you actually see the difference. The, see the difference. Mm -hmm. This is the thicker one, this is the thinner one. Now. The thinner one you could use on both 8700H and 8700. 
The thicker one, you cannot use an 8700. Gotta go only inside the H. And that's where the difference is. So it could go in. It goes in. This is actually the 8700 H needle bore. Mm -hmm. All right? And this is also 8700 H needle bore. Right? But if you wanted to, if you wanted to, uh, so this one goes inside both of them, obviously. You see? Both of them go in there for the 8700. Let me just go ahead and tie it. Did I just get rid of that? Okay. You see that one? That's a 8700H needle bar. Needle bar number for the heavy, 229-70206, 229-70206, that's the heavy one. For the regular 8700 would be 229 0600 229-06. Zero zero two. That's a regular one. Now I got lost my my um, needle set screw, but I'm going to take it from here because after I put my glasses on, obviously. Okay, I'm going to use this one and the other one just to show you guys. Heavy one. That's the heavy. Oh. Why this one? I think I don't have the right. That's the heavy one. I have to tie it really good. Now, I'm gonna try the light one on the heavy needle bar. And I think that's where the difference is. I think you have to, no, both won't work. The, the regular needle will work on both, both, but the big fat one for 8700H, which is the 16X95, will not work on both. Only and I had them, H. only H. Okay. So I'm gonna put this back before I make a bigger mess. And uh, what we're gonna do right now, is we're gonna put to a test the regular 8700 and a 8700H. Uh, simple, okay? Let me just get rid of all of this stuff. And I tell people, I mean, I'm not saying don't buy H, but if you're buying H, um, so this is an H, right? Uh, three layer, maybe four layers of denim jeans, okay? By the way, the tension, everything is the same on both. I mean, the um, the stitch length on both, right? Now, if you guys have any question, you could always call me. Uh, you see, one more thing, this one, it also looks different on H and regular. The needle, the thread guide, uh, the thread guide spring. The bottom one, this one more thing that I wanted to say, the thread guide, the thread guide hook right here, on both of them are the same. You see this one, it, on both of them are the same. This one looks different, this is more heavy than the regular one that I have here on my 8700. See? Mm -hmm. But really it's not a big deal. You don't need to change anything. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna just show I'm going to do five on this one. Obviously, quiet motor. Back, look at this. I have it on number five stitch, back and front. Okay. All right. Perfect, right? This is going to a customer in 10 minutes. That's why I said I'm gonna... One more thing I'm gonna tell you guys. 
before you start your sewing machine, put oil in there. The oil, the machine comes with the oil. You pour your oil right here, the whole thing, all right? Now, I'm gonna take this out. All right. Obviously, I don't have no scissors. And I'm gonna take it to the New Tech GC8700, right? Same thing, I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna start sewing with it. Same, same thing, right? I did not change anything. I'm gonna also put it under five. Now, look at that. The white one is new tech, 8700 regular. I'm gonna look at the back. The red one is 8700, new tech 8700. The white one is 8700 H. With the same needle, with the same foot, with the same feed dog, with the same plate, with tension, everything regular, everything normal. What do you say? Exactly. Same thing. Mm -hmm. It just might wear out faster. Your plate might wear out faster, let's say. Mm -hmm. Your, I don't think this is gonna wear out. I don't think the tension is gonna wear out. I don't think the needle, it's preferences. That's what I tell people, preferences. If you only do heavy stuff, okay, stick with H. But if you do everything, I really like my uh, new take 8700 for the price that you're paying. And uh, it's a great machine. Uh, this is what the difference between 8700 and 8700H and all the things that you have might need to change to um, make it to 8700H. I hope you love the video. Please go ahead and like us. Thumbs up. Not bottom, bottom up. Thumbs <laughs> up. Uh, like us. Uh, and thank you for watching.